some people uh, were snarking about these recent images that we've had of uh, black holes. Uh, to me, they were very exciting, but a lot of people were snarking, go, well, they're not really photographs, right? You know, and <laughs> right, you know, they were just going, oh, come on. Wha-? You know, and especially when um, I should explain to our audience that one of the images that came up more recently was uh, the center of our galaxy, uh, an object known as Sagittarius A. And, yeah. and it's in most galaxies have a black hole at the center of them. Um, and it, it sort of is both, uh, you know, where a lot of stuff gets sucked into, but it's also, they help keep the uh, whirling gas, dust, stars, planets, trillions and trillions of, you know, massive civilizations, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> they actually give form and structure to the galaxy. They are sort of a, 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 a strangely a, a ambivalent, uh, uh, object, but these what we're looking at in the Webb Telescope. These are true photographs in the way that we think of them. And I'm just wondering if you can tell us. I mean, how do they get the resolution that they get? Is it because of like the gold on the surface of the mirrors, uh, the, the way they're bounced? I'm just wondering if you if you have any insights to that because I've noticed that too that the resolution is astonishing. I mean, the yeah. b- the depth, basically the depth of the photographs, uh, you could just open them up and open them up. And it's almost like, you know, uh, what's, what was the name of Han Solo's, uh, uh, rocket when they go into, uh, hyperdrive a millennium Falcon. A yeah. Millennium Falcon. Remember how all the stars stretch, you know, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. It's very much like that, but can you talk to us about how they get that resolution and, and, you know, that it is a real, you know, shut up everybody. It is a real photograph. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this is definitely a real photograph. Now think about it though. This is a photograph made from data that was in the infrared. We can't see it with our eyes. So scientists take the actual image and they add color to it that represents the range of, of, of spectra that they're seeing in that picture. Um, and, and you know, some of it you might be able to see with your eyes, but this telescope doesn't do that. It only works in the infrared. Um, and, you know, the reason it's so sharp, that's simply a function of the fact that it's such a huge mirror. Um, I mean, this is this mirror is much bigger than what was the biggest telescope on Earth for so many years, the Hale telescope, that was to, you know, the mirror was 200 inches across. Mm. This thing is gigantic. Uh, The gold on the surface they used because it's such a good reflector of uh, of infrared light. And uh, underneath it is beryllium, which is crazy stuff as a sidelight because they had to be really careful with it because it's actually toxic as they were, you know, machining these things. They had to be very, very careful. But, you know, if you will allow me, I want to, I want to say something about those images of the black holes, uh, Sagittarius A, and then the other one, the first one that the Event Horizon Telescope got. Mm. I've heard that same argument. Oh, it's not really a photo. It's just reconstructed from radio telescope data. Well, okay. So, um, John, I, I know you were a big fan when it came out of the Sgt. Pepper album, right? Sergeant yeah. Pepper's Land, Land. Well, I have to break it to you, John. That's not the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're standing in my living room, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, those were just little bumps on a piece of plastic. And they, they got translated back into sound that was something like what the Beatles made. But close enough that we all got thrilled, right? Yeah. So that's exactly what the EHT images are. They take all these numbers, which represent an actual thing in space, and they turn it back into an image. You know, it doesn't bother me that it wasn't just, you know, light falling on a piece of, you know, Kodak or Polaroid film yeah. or uh, nowadays a CCD. But uh, yeah, that doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> 